What's up? Do a kickflip! Yo, do a kickflip! Do a kickflip! Holy shit. Come on, man. Do a kickflip. Show me a kickflip. What's going on, guys? It's me, Jacob. I'm here to do another 60 second review. And that's right. I'm going to be doing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remake. Now, I remember when the original Tony Hawk Pro Skater came out. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. It came out in 1999. Just to show you guys how old the game really is. I remember playing this on PlayStation. I remember when Part 2 came out, just a little after that in 2000. We're playing this on PlayStation. Me and all the guys in the neighborhood. We'll go around with our memory cards to each other's houses. Load our character. Try to show everybody who can get the best score. Who can do the you know 360s. Who can do all the best moves. You know, I can do a 900. I'm really Tony Hawk. You know, it was a lot of fun. You know, skateboarding around the neighborhood, playing Tony Hawk. And eventually, there's been more games. Eventually, other games came out. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. I remember playing that in GameCube. And that was probably the last one I played. The ones that came out after that, I kind of dabbled in. I didn't really play them, play them. I kind of, like, picked it up, played around for a little bit, but kind of lost interest. You know, it just really, wasn't really a thing for me anymore. They make it more story-driven where you become a certain character. You have to go around the city do all these missions and tasks for all these other people and other pro skaters and trying to earn your name and respect you know it's just a thing you know it's a lot of fun if you're looking for a game like that but Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 they're gonna do the smartest thing here they're gonna push the nostalgic button they're gonna make everyone who used to play those original games you know come flooding back to play these games it looks just like it now it's not like it's a new game or anything it's gonna be an exact scale remake of the original game but from the ground up, it's it's you know it's a sight to see. They've done this before with Crash Bandicoot and Spiral the Dragon and other games like it. Now I can't wait to see how Tony Hawk looks. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I know you guys are excited for it. You know, we, right now if you pre-order the game, you have access to the warehouse. It's a free level to play in if you pre-order the game, and the game looks and feels amazing. But like always, I do want to give the game a 60-second review. This is going to be a, a before the game comes out 60 second review like I just did with Marvel's Avengers during the beta. This is going to be a 60 second review of what I have right now. I'm going to go over the pros, the cons, let you know exactly what to expect out of this game. So you know if it's going to be worth your time or a waste of time. Is it going to be some kind of cheap nostalgic thrill? Or is this going to be an actual game you want to play? But like always, if you do enjoy this content, you do enjoy the 60 second reviews, definitely hit that subscribe button, leave a like or comment in the video. I really do appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Now on to the review. I'm going to start with the pros. Now I said this earlier, it's going to be an exact skill replica of the original games. It's going to be an exact replica. That's, that's what I'm most excited about. I don't want them to kind of throw some levels together and say, here you go. It's going to be an exact remake of the game, but it's going to be in 4K, 60 frames per second. It's going to look and feel beautiful. It's going to have all the same combos you used to do, plus more combos. So there's going to be more combos you can do in the game. You have all the same pros, but now they're going to be aged. So you can see what the pros used to look like you know, back in 1999. And you can see what the game in this game, what they're going to look like right now. So they actually had to go back, find all the old pros, and update you know, the character models to match what they look like nowadays. It's going, to be, it's going to be a sight to see. Plus they have new skaters in there. So they'll have new skaters that are up and coming. You know, it would be awesome to see them in the game. Throw some name recognition that way. You can see all the classic skaters. Plus, you can make your own skater. They have the creative skater, so make your own person. But the most excited thing I want to, you know, I want to play in the game is going to be create a skate park. That's going to be a game changer. I remember back in the day when you made a skate park and you go to your buddy's house or your memory card and you load it up and you play it and they do something or hey, can I borrow the memory card so I can tweak your map? It looks really cool. Now all of that online. That's, you know, that's just going to be what it's going to be. I can't wait to see all the maps you guys come up with. You guys are going to come up with some crazy, insane maps. Way different ways to skate them. I can't wait to see what they're going to be. A lot smarter people than me are going to be making these maps. And I'm so excited to play these maps. I also will be making maps. You know, I'll be making my uh, fun little maps like I, I used to make. But these, you know, some people out there are just like geniuses and can make some crazy levels. And I can't wait to see what people, you know, in the community are going to bring to the table right there just wins the game create a skate park but there's still some more pros in each level like i said it's gonna be built up in exact replicas but you'll have new secrets new challenges there's new tricks in the game you have local split screen online mode so you can play couch co-op or online co-op you know back and forth versus each other so so much fun 
there's gonna be no microtransaction at launch so as soon as the game launches no microtransactions you know thumbs up to that we're not looking to spend extra money we just bought a new game there are tons of games coming out right now which you know it's killing me right now to buy all these games <laughs> But if you do pre-order the game, you'll have access to the warehouse demo that came out August 14th. I've been playing in the warehouse. It's a lot of fun. So if you do pre-order the game, you'll have access to something you can play around with. Now the game does come in three different versions. You can get a standard version, a digital deluxe version, and a deluxe edition. The only difference is the deluxe edition for like $100, you're going to get a birdhouse skate deck. So if you actually skateboard, then you're going to get a collector skate deck. Otherwise, the standard and the digital deluxe the only real difference is you're going to pay for extra outfits. I'm certain you're going to be able to buy and unlock clothes in the game, but if you want those extra outfits, then you get that digital deluxe. Otherwise, just get the standard edition game. You're going to get new clothes and options in the game, but I kind of carried on there. Sorry about that. That was over 60 seconds. There's just a lot to go over. I'm really excited about this game. I, I really am. I played the originals back when I was a kid. Now they're you know being remade again for us. The nostalgic button was hit. I accepted the challenge, I'm playing this, and time for that score. 1 through 10, 10 being amazing, you have to pick it up, I'll leave it linked down at the bottom, or 1 being trash, don't even waste your time. Now this game is going to be a 10 out of 10 from what I can see right here. It's perfect, it's 10 out of 10, there's nothing really wrong with it, but you know that's to be seen. When the actual game comes out, I'll do another review for it, let you know the final verdict on it, but for right now what we have is a 10 out of 10, it gives you exactly what you want. It's a skateboarding game where you can just kind of do what you want to do. There's a lot of features to it. It's very customizable. You're going to have a lot of fun with the game. Now I'm also playing another skateboarding game at the same time for another review I'm doing. I'm doing a review, a review for a Skate XL. You'll see that here. I'll have that here on my 6 second review playlist coming up next. It's a whole different story for that game. Seriously. Not even a comparison. If you're looking to buy one or the other, buy this one. You know. That's the best advice I can give you. This is going to be the fun game. This is the one everyone's going to want to play. By Tony Hawk. You know, he, you know, he's Tony Hawk for a reason. He makes the right game. He makes the right move. This is a good move. Right now, this is the review for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remake. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you know, definitely hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment in the video. I really do appreciate all the support. And if you want to see more 60 second reviews, definitely click the playlist here. And the other video here is a YouTube recommended one for you. Might as well check that one out too. Thank you so much. See you at the next video.